Greetings! You're watching Septim Sen vs. the World. I'm Septim Sen, and we're here with another anime update! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, this is the show where we talk about the anime being released each week. This time we are talking about anime being released on the 14th of May, 2024. So we actually have some decent numbers today, and uh, not a one from uh, Sentai, oddly enough. Which is kind of funny, because we've been having, like, trickled Sentai stuff. So, uh, we'll start with something basic. Uh, for those of you who are converting Naruto to uh, Blu-ray, I've had thoughts, but they'd have to reduce the price quite a bit for me to go, Man, well, I got all those DVDs. I guess I'll uh, start trying to sell those and convert. Uh, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> but uh, these are kind of... Space Savers and uh, Blu-ray is a little bit more sturdy, so it's kind of cool that way. Shipping it is okay. I feel like I feel like it integrated the um, the filler worse, because at least with uh, Naruto you could actually stop at a point and just say, "Oh, done," and just skip like a good portion of the end, and then you're you're good with that. Uh, but here it's kind of <clears throat> intertwined. So, it's kind of cool to have this and, uh, and just enjoy the nice, um, uh, well, the, the nice Blu-ray sets. So if you're wanting to collect Naruto and you haven't collected it yet, this is probably a good way to do it. I, I would have done it this way if they'd released it like this. I mean, they're, what, 24-episode chunks or something like that instead of the 12 ones? A 56 to 82. Yeah, that's not bad. It's 24, so yeah. <clears throat> so this one looks interesting to me. It's uh, about a... Uh, it's called A Place Further Than the Universe. Uh, this is a Shout Studios release, which means it's expensive. You know, 89 98 um, and it's about these girls, uh, doing, I'm guessing, a slice of life type thing, where they're going to either the North or the South Pole. I can't really, uh, figure it out. Uh, it looks like it could be the North Pole, but it could be the South Pole. Um, but, uh, it looks interesting. I wouldn't mind getting it, but I'm not right now able to afford eighty nine ninety eight, so I'm probably not going to get it at the moment. But still... It is a cool looking series. I uh, do think it looks entertaining. So, uh, this one is one I have wish listed, matter of fact. Uh, though I've wish listed the um, regular edition, which is Uzaki Chang Wants to Hang Out Season 2. So, um, this is one that was big for a while. Uh, you know, I mean, this. Uh, she was the uh, she was the big waifu for a long time. <clears throat> Essentially, about this uh, girl who knows uh, who has a friend who's just basically I am I don't know, a taco. I just want to stick to myself, and she's like, uh, no, no, you're not sticking to yourself. A lot of people like it. I have not um, actually watch the series yet but um, I do have season one and I probably will get season two um, but I will probably wait until it goes on sale so uh, I'll be keeping an eye out on the regular I don't think they're gonna run out of this one anytime soon it's too popular limited edition maybe but the uh, so if you really want to get on that limited edition six seven ain't too bad for a limited but um, there we go so one that's been like hugely popular right now is the uh, Konosuba and Explosion on this wonderful world, which really it uh, it is a side story that um, revolves around Megaman, who is kind of the underage girl that uh, loves explosions in their group. Um, I mean Konosuba is an isekai, but. Uh, we're not actually covering the um, the isekai person. Uh, we're actually covering one of the uh, party members. 
So, it might be fun. I've heard a lot of people like it. Uh, Konosuba's not too bad. Um, I've got it wishlisted myself. So, um, definitely something I am going to be getting hold of. But I know a lot of people, they want to get at it as soon as possible. So, hey, have at it, man. So, well, it looks interesting, but I, I don't really know if I pay $52 for it. Uh, is this guy called Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. So, uh, this guy apparently is some sort of ice spirit. He has ice powers, and uh, he uh, <coughs> has this colleague that kind of makes him go haywire. And uh, so it's sort of like, I guess, a uh, romance with a twist. Office romance with a twist, I guess. <laughs> so, I'm sure this will be interesting. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, checking it out in the future, if I see it cheaply. And last on the list is Kuma Kuma Bear, Kuma 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 Bear Punch Season 2. Now this one looks entertaining, uh, of course, for, uh, but, uh, you know, for those of you who love the Kuma 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 series, uh, of course, you will be wanting Season 2. I don't need to tell you what it's about because, well, you've actually, uh, well, you've actually watch season one or own season one but um you know it looks entertaining looks like a kind of magical girl series bear oriented when i think of that i think of there is a um a yuri series uh, that comes to mind when i'm thinking about it but i don't think that's what this is about um so another one that uh, i think that if you really are into it you're going to run to it if not you'll probably do like me and wait for it to go on sale but um, looks good. So we got a pretty interesting wealth of titles, most of them from Crunchyroll this time, one from Shout Studios. So uh, I think this is going to be a fun week. Hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments below what items are you interested in grabbing this time around. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.